hey youtube welcome back to my channel and welcome to a brand new video in today's video y'all we're gonna have some fun and we're gonna be doing a tag video and this is called confessions of a perfume collector so if you guys would like to see what my confessions are then keep on watching if you are new to my channel welcome my name is oshumare on this channel i talk about all things smell good so if you're smelling good go ahead and hit that subscribe button and if you are a returning viewer hey it is so good to see you all right you guys so i was tagged to do this video about a month ago but i had so many other videos that i had to do but we're doing it today y'all and this tag was created by carmen centrix here on youtube if you've never checked her channel out i will link her down below i love her channel she's so down to earth and she's a fellow mommy like me <laughs> And the person who tagged me is Fragrance Euphoria, and her name is Emily. I'll put her video down in the description box as well. She is super cute. Hey, girl. But y'all, let's get into these questions. I feel like these questions is all in my business, by the way. But <laughs> here we go. So the first question is, what is the cheapest fragrance in your collection? And that was super easy, y'all. It is Choco Musk or Choco Musk, however you want to say it. And y'all, this one was like... Girl was like $8 or $9. It was the best $9 or $8 I've ever spent because as soon as I run out of this, I'm gonna go get some more. I don't think I have anything for like $3 or anything like that in my collection. So this one would definitely be the cheapest one in my collection. The second question is most expensive you paid and or retail value for. So this is kind of a toss up between a few different fragrances, but I'm gonna just go ahead with these two. I don't know which one it is, but this one is Delina Exclusive and then this is Atomic Rose. I think they were both closer to a lot of money. I ain't even gonna say how much. <laughs> if you wanna know what that is, girl, look it up. Cause saying actually how much this costs out loud sounds crazy. So <laughs> those would be the most expensive ones. I think it's probably this one, but I'm not sure. But either way, they were both expensive. Question number three is all in my business, y'all. Like, I'm just like, oh my gosh. And this one says, how many full-size bottles of perfumes do you have? Um, one ounce or bigger? Okay, so when I got tagged, I counted and I stopped counting around a couple hundred. And you know, a couple hundred could be, you know, more than 200, it could be more than 300. Again, I'm not gonna say the number on here because it just sounds like I really am an addict, y'all. I Like these are really my confessions and I, you know, I, I feel some type of way about this. I have, you know, I have a lot. I know you guys have asked me time and time again, girl, can you please show us your whole collection? And I just can't wrap my mind around doing a video on that many fragrances. I I feel like I would halfway through, not even halfway through y'all, I feel like I would be talking about them and then I would just shut the whole thing down and be like, yo, you know what, I'm done. We're gonna do a part two in a year. I don't know what the quickest way would be to share all of those with y'all. So most of my fragrances, they're behind me in my closet and they look really nice and organized. I just, I'm like, girl, that's a lot. But yeah, so make a long story short, y'all. I have a couple hundred. Yeah, next question. Question number four is, ever received weird comments about your fragrance and um or it says your scents and i really haven't received any weird ones i mean the only thing i could think of is and this was years ago and i can't remember what the perfume was that i had on <laughs> but my older brother i was wearing something and we were all hanging out at you know our parents house and he came in and, you know he was hugging everybody and all that and then after he hugged everybody he asked which one of us you know was wearing perfume which usually we were all wearing perfume me and mom and sister but that day i was like the only one that was wearing something and i was like oh i think it's me and he was like oh okay <laughs> kind of like like did that kind of like so i'm like mm, okay and i was like why and he was like i was like you like it and he was like yeah he's like smell just like old lady and i was just like oh, well so i never wore whatever that was again and i i wish i could remember what it was needless to say i was only wearing that fragrance after he said that to bed because at that point i was single and i was like well if he's a guy maybe other guys don't think this smells good either and you know i ain't trying to just you know be in these streets alone forever so that perfume quickly became a i'm in the house chilling in my own apartment by myself going to sleep type of fragrance and I, I didn't wear that one out anymore. So question number five is, do you wear perfume for cuddling time and which one? So, I mean, when you marry or you live with your significant other or whatever, right? You switch it up all the time. I don't really have like, I mean, I have some that I would say are perfect for cuddling, but I kind of just put on whatever I feel like putting on at that time. But I mainly just go for like sweet, soft type of fragrances after we put our son to bed and we're just gonna like sit on the couch and watch some First 48 or Snap. Y'all, that's my guilty pleasure. We love those crazy type of shows. I don't know why, but we love one of them crazy good shows. But when we're about to do that, I usually will pull for 
fresh cream warm cashmere or a pull for skin by clean reserve those are the perfumes that usually i'll pull because i know he really likes those i mainly will spritz myself with like um, a body splash or a lotion but the two that i'm rotating between right now is victoria's secrets pure seduction candy which is just super sugary sweet and it's not overly sweet but it lingers really nicely and my husband really likes that and then the most recent one is sol de janeiro which is like a fluffy kind of like marshmallowy vanilla question number six is about how many sprays do you spray and that really depends on what kind of fragrance it is so if it's something super strong then i'm only going to spray about two times because I don't want to be obnoxious with my fragrances and then if it's something that's like a little bit lighter then I'll do like a one two three four five six <laughs> sometimes I spray my hair so seven my back the back of my knees my feet girl I don't know what was that like 10 I, I have no idea I really don't count I just kind of just go all over until I'm done and then after I get dressed I spray myself again so Girl, I don't know. I spray myself as many times as I feel like it's gonna take for my man and everybody else to smell me. <laughs> and the next question is, where all do you spray? So I kind of just said that. So I pretty much spray behind my ears. I spray both of my wrists. I spray the insides of my elbows. I spray the back of my knees. I spray my lower back. And then I spray, sometimes I spray my hair. I really try to avoid this section right here but if i have clothes on like something like this i would spray right here mm, and that's pretty much it so pretty much all my post points question number eight says do you buy backups and no no i don't buy any backups because chap listen i can't even go through the one perfume that i have so why am i looking at a backup if i can't even finish the first one however in certain cases i will like let's say if i am at the end of a perfume that i've been using a lot like sabrina carpenter sweet tooth it's like an easy reach right it's sweet but it's not like too overly sweet so it's that one's really been easy for me to just pick up and spritz myself with and i'm like at the very bottom of that one there's like this much left so in that case because i know i really like that sim profile i don't know if they're going to discontinue it and i would love to just kind of keep that in rotation i got a backup of that but it's only because I'm about to, like, it's about to be gone. The next question is, do you show your collection to friends and family? And I mean, yeah, I mean, if they're over and they want to see it, then of course, because they watch me on here. So they see just this in the background, but they know that I have a whole closet right there. And that's not anywhere near the majority of my collection. <laughs> and so if they want to come in, I mean, they know that this is like a hobby of mine. It's fun. And so they will, you know, look at it. You and I, we're like... A very odd bunch of people they just have a whole bunch of fragrances and i feel like in the real world you know like with friends and family they they be having like you know 10 fragrances maybe 20 fragrances the normal amount that people usually have so they don't really get what's going on in there long story short yes in some cases but i'm not going out of my way and they're not breaking their necks to see my collection <laughs> this next question <laughs> is does your partner or spouse know how much you spend on fragrances <laughs> and i mean it's kind of like a <laughs> like a, a yes and no type of answer so i mean yes listen my husband he sees everything that comes to the door we have a ring on our front porch and like another camera so he will literally text me like hey babe there's a package on the front porch and i'll be like oh okay great you know and i'll just go get it or whatever but i mean as far as him knowing like every single time i'm getting a fragrance no but i mean he sees the collection grow and he'll come in and be like oh i've never seen that one before i've never seen that one but does he really care i mean no like he he's really the type of man that's like happy wife happy life responsibly right you know like we still have to pay our mortgage our other bills we have to make sure you know our son has everything that he needs and he always has everything he needs, everything he wants. And you know, we, we both, we professionals, okay? So we work for us, but we're also very like business, not business, well, I ain't business savvy, I'm somewhat. He is very more so like a, like a numbers guy. He's an engineer major, right? So he's like really good about the budget and this and that and all these other things. If it was up to me, Chad, we probably wouldn't even have this house. I'd just be like, let's just throw it all in the bag. You know, like I'm like the one that's kind of like, ah! you know he centers me he really does he really is the stability that i need and i'm so appreciative for that but to answer the question yes he does no he's not like sitting there like knowing every transaction but he sees our accounts and he's the main one that has bought me things like cabinets and whatnot for my fragrances so 
he know. Oh, girl, that one, that one may be hot. I'm over here like, yeah, he know, girl, but he don't know, but he know. Okay, so the next question is, do you plan on collecting more or do you see yourself quitting anytime soon? Girl, no, I, where am I going? I ain't going to where I just started. I mean, I just started here on YouTube like a year ago, but I've been collecting fragrances my whole life. So no, I don't ever see myself quitting because I love fragrances. Why, why? would I stop? If I stopped randomly on YouTube, I would just be stopping filming. But as far as collecting fragrances and all of that, no girl, I, I got some all in the way right now. And the last question, which is question number 12 is, where do you see your collection in 20 years? So in 20 years, I'll be in my fifties. And I mean, girl, I don't know, girl, I don't know where I see myself next week. Okay, not even in an hour. I have no idea. I hope I'm alive, okay? Cause things be happening to people every single day. So I just pray. To the Lord that I'm still here. I doubt that I will even care about a collection at that point. I'll probably, you know, be a grandma and I'll probably be more interested in, in what they doing. And hopefully I'll be traveling all over the world still with my husband, child. I hope we're still together. No, not like that. <laughs> but that's an interesting question. I have, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'll still have fragrances, you know, but um, girl, I don't know. So that's it. All right, you guys, so that is it. That is all of the questions from this confession tag. I hope that you guys had some fun with me. I hope y'all learned some things. <laughs> I hope I wasn't too boring or at the same time, I hope I wasn't too blunt. Y'all, I felt like those questions were all up in my business. So because they were all up in mine, I'm gonna ask y'all some of the same questions too. How many fragrances do y'all have in your collection? Leave it down in the comments as well as let me know if your significant other, your boo, your husband, your wife, whoever, do they know how much y'all spend on your fragrances? Let's talk about it. This is gonna be a fun conversation. If you guys did like today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up before you leave. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe. And as usual, take care of yourself. God bless you all. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.